and they've, they've done it. I mean, if they get a 3v1 on the A side, that's what they were after. And Bialy does win the fight, but the information is known. He does have an AK now, so things get dangerous. Bialy does so much damage. One HP Oscar. He can get the bomb. He can plant in time. He's got to be swift, though. Very swift indeed, because otherwise he's screwed. He's going to go for a pretty open plant. This is very interesting. If he can get into a post-plant position, this does become winnable. <gasps> Oscar gets one more, and now it's just me who left. But he's got one HP. Surely he can't make the one HP clutch work. Oh, Is he, he going it. all the way around? He did plant all the all the way open. Oh my gosh. Mihu is suspicious. Oh. oh my god. He actually still went halls. He is oh so my god. the balls on this guy. He's still walking. He's still walking. The madman. Oh my god. What an absolute beast. That is unbelievable. Order <laughs> yesterday doing so well, just keeping the opponents guessing, making sure they don't have too much information. But straight into B is Azakev. Yeah, he's on the entry, but Ben Tet's actually here with the AK 47. That's actually the bomb and the orb loss. He's still going in. That's a beautiful flashbang coming. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Ben Tet, you can't do that. That is disgusting. I should say, for SK or SS, and you're right, B Rush absolutely coming in. It's Stewie's the only one in there, and he's got an MP9. He's gonna get flashed in. He's gonna just oh, go for it. He's just, just go for it and in the flames. Oh my God, Stewie! Have you ever seen an ace like that? Will be challenging the upper round, and that's where Device will be challenging as well. He gets the opening pick. Is it enough to do three? Ready on the lower round, looking for his first. Oh he can't get it. Oh. Even more. This is brilliant from Dupree as he gets the ace spray down with the AK-47. Amazing work there. What they can. It will be a three-on-three -three fight as they start the entry. Uh, the rotates, though, will quickly make advantage for Heroic. And Freiburg actually in fire. I didn't think they'd expect that, but PHR managed to find that kill. Nico pushes out, finds two, but now it's just PHR. 1v3. Spots up the first one, finds the second. Oh, what a flex! Oh, my lord, PHR! What in God's name was that? In ace from him. Он забирать в спине это уже двое. Команда Винстрайк просто прожала тылы. Бомба стоит под шорт, но здесь просто четверка. Ты открываешься, у тебя четверо смотришь. Что здесь делать? Наверное, ничего. Алмазер! 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 Минус пять, братишка, в спину ворвался просто. Yeah, now this becomes an endurance game. Both teams have been throwing absolutely everything at each other. And look at this. What on earth? Nifty. Wow. Movement. Boy, easy oh, oh, my God. God and gets the incendiary down as well, denying the trade. Nifty again on the site. Let's see some more magic, my friend, with that orb. Chris J goes down. Oh, and Nifty! Play. And Nifty is coming up absolutely what? insane right now for the Renegades. Holy moly! Yeah, but now here it comes with a flurry. And it's going to mainly be the terrorist blood that stains the ground of train. Meanwhile, Bracken and Forest, they've got to try and get some work done. No Molotov to use, there's a smoke on the site anyway. Forest has picked up one. Can he go any better than that? He knows it's been Whoa! better. Oh my God, Forest! Magnifique in Marseille! That was ridiculous! That's a connector, I think that is, or jungle. Can't really remember all those smokes after the new update. This is their smoke. And now, oh, AC doubles up, triples up, what is that? That's criminal! AZ's looking unreal down in CT. Wants to try and get more done. And oh my goodness, AZ. What a pistol round it's been from him. Oh dear, this is this is quite the turnaround. No one dying. Valdi now trying to get his way out there. He's going to take down Breeze. What else can he find? Oh man, he's just so good, isn't he? Valdi's going to get a plant. A one versus three situation off of the back of this. And he's looking to try to see if he can bend out another 1v1. He's got time to play with. He can go lower as well. So smart, Valde, executing one more. Two more players to go as he flashes the vent and falls back. Looking to go for the plan upper now, knowing that he's not safe from heaven. And knowing that one is in the vents. And he's seen him, and that's Cirque now having to fall back. He can't quite take this engagement, but he can try to take the attention to now Fugly into the bomb site. Fugly is waiting for Cirque to run all the way around. They want to make sure they do not throw this one away. This is a 1v5 here for Valde, looking for the ace clutch. 
as that bomb ticks further and further. Closer to detonation, Valde with another P kick. Another headshot from Valde, he's perfect so far. One more player to go, he hasn't taken any damage. My god, Valde is an absolute god. One versus five, ace clutch. Oh, Molotov, not his teammate, and Device still finds an angle on his Stewie. Timing is everything, Dupree absolutely nails it. He absolutely does, 30 seconds remaining, still possible though. Players like Fur can shut these situations down very quickly, but Magus should confirm the round at this point. It's Tarek, oh my goodness, finding all the headshots. Surely he doesn't have a chance here. He'll go for the plant. It's actually looking possible. He'll get it down here. It's up to Device to try and deny everything. Tarek could win the one versus four. He has a Molotov available to him. Device is low and he has to wait for his teammate. He's got to start moving though because he doesn't have information behind him. He's expecting it to be from the stairs, but now that flash comes out. Device trying to work back in has given away the fact that Zipix is coming from the front. And Tarek, oh! a one versus four! that he's here and he's just lying in wait. This actually frees up the extra man to go ahead and hold mid in the form of Croman. Like this setup right now from FaZe. Oh. He's gonna be tested, what a flick to land. Oh. And Rain, oh my goodness, what is he doing? He's tearing them apart, oh. oh, Rain! That was absolutely phenomenal. As small as it may be. Okay, force out of position, oh, that's a nice flick. And they have no idea he's there. What is this? What oh is my this? god, oh, Krim! What the hell? The day. And we've yeah. always seen him start slow and come alive around, you know, right at the end of map one into map two. And then it's just that old classic Astralis comes out. Look at this push towards Halls. There's the first kill for the Oh, what a follow-up. Get right is gonna be called upon again, and he can't do it. Debris is picked up taste! Because even after that, the buy is not gonna be great. Debris got nace. He's got all five. <laughs> he was waiting for it. Two on two now, and it's Tarek. He's got higher health, but it's not perfect. Down he goes. It's Guardian. He's the only man standing between Cloud9 and the Major. It's going to be a double peak. There's the first one. Oh! We're going to overtime number two. Cloud9, don't do it. They're still in this Major phase, Cloud. Can you believe it? But Bolts is going to win the initial exchange. A little bit cheeky there from Bolts, and that's exactly what SK needs. But FaZe have decided they want nothing to do with the B bomb site, making their way over to A and Nico. But Nico now in a one versus four. The bomb somewhat planted for him, but his position is known. So SK, they shouldn't be leaving this one to any chance. They need a dispatch of Nico. Slowly but surely, Nico tries to find the openings, tries to find those 1v1s, and that's what he needs to be doing right now. Putting a lot of pressure on FaZe. He knows there's a player behind him, but if he gets rid of the player on the side, he might have just done enough. The time is running out. Nico! How is he oh, doing this? Oh my goodness! A 4v1 for Nico and SK. They've thrown around the way. 50 for Edward. Except for the previous one I mentioned. Next, good start. Gets the M4. Pulls back out. Goes through and finds Simple. Chance in it as he actually shuts down Electronic! And next is full of sex as he shuts out Zeus. It is damn fine. All on Flamey. How the hell do you turn that around? Given the circumstances, given that we were about to go to a tie game, they were in a triple eco situation, and he's got all five. What a round. Hold this off. Oscar's low. All he needs to do at this point is to find out where Kerrigan is. He spotted his foot. He'll go back for an easy kill. Here we go then. It's Nico coming in. The back line takes down Chris J. All of a sudden, it's flipped around once again. Two versus one. The world's best player up against it to stay in the game. They'll go for the fake defuse, but Nico not taking the fake. Can he finish this off? Yes, he can. We're going to overtime. Oh my God. In the flames as well. AK waits for the smoke to be deployed as he watches back toward Ivy. Make sure that's clear before they get the bomb in position. Next is gone above. He won't deny the ball, but he's got an angle. He might get a third. Can't respond. And Croman snaps back with speed to immediately take out Smoothie behind him. Got P as well. What a response. What? Croman, he's got four. He's looking for the ace to pull it off. The stand-in stands up. And he might make Big sit the hell down because Tizian tries to get to the ball. A quick tap. Croman's not responded. Hold his ice on this, but he's not moving either, which means he could give himself up. Tizzy and didn't check it. Croman holds the angle and plays this to perfection. No kit, Matt. And it's the over. bomb's too far gone. I think Croman's pulled off the impossible task. That is absolutely amazing! He saves them! And a must-win round to tie things up and completely reset big. 
Rush with an off angle, looking towards the uh, apt position. The Molotov comes in, but so does the rotation. Olof Maestro has been taken out towards the B site. But Auto Automatic's going towards A. Nothing else is going on. He's got to go back. Stewie's on his own. But look at the time. Look at the time. There's seven seconds to blow the bomb. They're trying to build pyramids, but there's no more play. Stewie's oh! won the round. We go to overtime. Tarzan have done it. How have they done that? They came back all the way. All the way. We'll try and see what's available to them towards inside. Flusher has sneaked in, but of course, the bomb's so far away. It's not like this does an amazing amount of work for him. But if he does get all the way towards CT Spawn, perhaps, undetected, maybe this has a chance to him. Who knows? Olaf will have no idea that he's already made his way in. Needs to be quick to find that kill, however. Definitely spots him. Oh, not only does he spot him, thank you very much! Oh, wow. No way. No way Line he it wins up. this. And not only that, he's caused a full rotation from Ivy, from Rain, and sort of Z Connect inside of Z Connector. Flushek gets one more kill on this. Lecro's got the whole map to play with. Oh he's hoping that Flushek can anchor this position down, but he has the option to go back to A and look at Flushek. Oh my god. This would be a harsh reset on 14 rounds for Fnatic, and that smoke is tantalizing! Oh! Flush, uh, he's gonna clean out Connector. It's just Nico yet again who has to try and pull it back, and he's got the AK-47. Some utility in a kit to do so, and Lecro is taking his sweet time to make sure he figures this out. Now, this is interesting because now it's return favor. Nico snuck around behind Flusha, uh, and he could actually spoil the whole plan as sneaky as Flusha uh, was. No way. Oh my god! That is one of the most impressive clutches you will ever see. Down, but still the vice post the cross. And Dupree is safe for the moment. There's one kill. He's going to go for more. That's the bomb down. And Forrest eventually there to shut it. But there's just been too many losses. Great hold from Astralis. It's just a great job, isn't it? 30 seconds again for a one versus four. He's already got the one kill. Tapping away and taking down. 25 seconds. He is looking for the straight ace clutch to try and get back in this game. That would be... A bit of a miracle once again. He's picked up the bomb and he wants to go upstairs, make it a bit of noise. He's trying to see if he can juke them out and just be as noisy as possible. Maybe they're going to be looking the wrong way, but they're hiding in the corner. Oh, he's oh, no. at him going down. How is he turning? Now it's a one on one. Magus coming in. He's just out of the bomb. Forest. He needs one more kill. We'll be in historic clutch if he could do it. The grenade landing on top. He's down to 50. Oh! <laughs> And that's going to encourage the B take. They're certainly ready for it. Rain, good angle, flush a good trade. Olaf, speed to get inside of the side. AWP, it actually hit. It connected on Guardian, got confused because Olaf came to the top of the ladder. And that's going to leave Olaf up close as well to the bomb as Golden and Flusha have to be the two to pull this back to force this the distance. Bomb already planted, thankfully, and Flusha with one, but he's got a lot more to go. In fact, he needs another ace just to keep Fnatic alive in phase. Trials and tribulations in finals, and they certainly showed through again. They might finally redeem from last year and get their first IEM championship. It only takes one kill. Flusha, he's not going to allow that easily. Gets it down to just Guardian, 17 HP. And that gives Flusha the upper hand as well. Flash out. He's faced off of it, forced off the angle, and Flusha's got us going the distance as he hits the shot, and we tie things up. And it works because Lacro on the second off this time. He's able to catch Nico deep inside of the site. The man who I thought was going to go for the contact play is suddenly the last alive. Oh, this is a done round Guardian now. It's the question as to whether he'll save the AWP. Good flashbang. Could get oh. a couple more out of this one. And oh. Fnatic are starting to crumble. What's going on? One player has found three kills. Guardian looking to ace this one out. This could be one of the best rounds of the entire tournament so far. Four kills picked up. It's down to Crimped. This was a five versus one map. And he's got time as well. The bomb won't be on his back, and he's going for the long con here. Back through T-spawn. What a play to hit that third shot. A little bit of luck on his side, perhaps, but he knew where Golden was. And you're right, this fell apart. They forced this, and Guardian is so damn good on the AWP. The long con, he won't overcommit to it. He went back thinking Crimson oh no, would reveal himself. He's just Molotov himself off the bomb. 
You wanted the force out from Barrels. Crims now knows he's inside of the site, but Guardian has every opportunity, you're right, to make this a remarkable one versus five. Oh, wow. And Crims will hear him heading toward A, but that means he won't get there in time to deny the plant. There's nothing that can be done, at least for that facet. How quickly does Guardian post up and realize where Crims is going to be coming from, though? He knows he wasn't in B, so he's got to be toward bathroom. Surely Guardian looks that direction with it. Down in position, Crims not looking yet, and Guardian oh just God. gets behind the box. That also means Crims will get closer to the site by the stairs. But Guardian will wait for this to go to time. Incendiary could be a factor, because if he puts it in front of Guardian, how does he work back in? It's gone toward the dumpster. That means Guardian knows exactly where to look! Oh! He's got all five! There he is! The world's best sniper! 40 damage from it, and he'll rotate back through the vents. That gives the leash position. Wants to try and hold excuse me, catwalk from connector. Wants to try and hold off the rotations. Oscar's gone. Chris is an op still in the picture. Op still very much in the round. Oh, oh. Chris! He's found three. It's down to a two no on way. two! Chris, can he close this with an ace? Oh my god! Chris, the Wolf of Wall Street, gets an ace, and it's championship point out sports. Especially online. They do dastardly things. Surely that was Deco's job. Yep. The clumsy towards it. Chris J, ready to hunt. Doesn't really stick the landing, though, with the Krieg, and they have got a kit. But Oscar's so good in these situations. Oh! Throws the smoke in towards Ravnus to stop another rush coming in. Plays an open position for now. There will be the force by um, Simple and Co. He'll open things up with a scout. That's Chris J being dropped straight away. This guy isn't slowing down anytime soon, it seems. Simple checks into secret with the scout to start things off. So good pick for Navi. Now Sports already achieved 50%. Of the oh my god, I'll get back to that in a minute. No. Goodbye, Oscar. Thank you for playing today. Today on Inferno against SK Gaming. And he might have gone one step further as he gets his third kill of the round. Hi, by the barrel. He might be the first to engage, but he'll be dispatched off pretty quickly. Tizian taking a shot, hiding, getting his reload in, just trying to be the bait. I think he's doing. Did he get, did did he he actually, get was that one? a frag? <laughs> I thought it was eight punch. There's no you way. You can't be serious. now in a one versus five with the AK-47. We've seen a one versus five already in this event. We have it, Henry. It was on the other stream just a moment ago, and apparently it was brilliant. So I'm told. As Zipix tries to work back inside of the lobby, 25 HP only to work with. As the bomb will reach its logical See, conclusion. Is he gonna go for this? Are they still down there? Oh Not my god. Place, no. Oh my god. No. Oh my Zipix! Clutch Minister's oh, got a new got servant! It. Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable from Zipix! He is the clutch master, and that is ungodly! I'm sorry it's gotta go that way, Norman.